Hello everyone, and welcome back again to Pleasant Valley. Hey Hitman and Kara. Howdy Fat. Hi Kara. Hey Fat. Hey Hitman. How are we today? We are good. Yeah. Excellent. Ready to do some work. Let's show some stuff. Work? Do I have? You mean I've got to work again? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what we should do is head down to the biogas so we can show our new toy and Kara can show the neat thing we found about it. Ah, uh, yes. So do we need to, to, to go there first then? Okay. Yep. Yeah, let's do that. Doop. And doop, doop. Oh, I'm guessing this is the biogas. Yep, yeah, you are right. I'm just the opposite side of the place to everyone else. Yep. There's, there's a shocker. So we have a new toy. Is it wrapped? No, it's not wrapped. No, but the silage is. Yeah, sorry, I ran out of paper. Yeah, well, I mean, after wrapping all of that... Yeah. So, here's the neat thing. We don't have the general lead yet, but we have this. <laughs> Excellent. Just what you need on a front loader is a horn like that. I mean... Well, you need something to amuse yourself when you're going back and forth to the... Uh the silage in the pit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and, so... Uh, oh, it's HSKR. That's like, almost like Husker from... Uh, what's that thingy? Do for Battlestar Galactica. Okay, then. So, Kara's gonna start working on unloading this until the biogas gets full. And we'll be speeding up time here shortly to get our crops ready. So, we need to make enough money to buy that um, that harvester. So uh, I might help him out here with the, the bug gas. Okay. And Fadman, you're feeding chickens and um, foraging, right? Yeah, I, I was debating feeding the beast, but apparently we don't have any beasts, so I need to feed the chickens. No beast for you. So, no. Just, just the beast that is me. Well, I think you don't have to help me out, Headman, because with 50,000 liters in this bucket, uh, yeah, that thing is going to be full in seconds. Okay, so I'll just take this one back up to the farm. Now, I'm not sure if we've got a use for this. Um, I might just sell it, and that'll give us the money towards the next harvester. We, hmm, I don't know if we're going to need a front-end loader to unload the, the, the grass or the um, silage into the cow pen. I'm not sure how that's going to work, or to fill the mixing station when we buy that. Well, if we do, we can always buy a smaller one. Yeah, like a tractor, you mean. Or a bobcat. I've never used a bobcat, so that might be a good use for it. So, um, I think... Uh, oh boy, that means i got to drive this all the way back there. That'll be fun to watch. Okay. Oh, uh, hmm, that's no point in resetting. I'm close enough to the... Well, we'll do that off screen, I guess. Um, so, fat of you, you've got the. No, the chickens aren't fed yet, are they? No, yeah, I'm just. Um, I've just filled up the tip. I was just looking at the board just to see what of everything we had. Does it have a meal? No. It, 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 it doesn't. It's um, an electronic board. An e board? Yes. <laughs> Yes, now I'm heading over to see the chickens. Although, like I say, it's it's strange that it still displays them at 105%, but... Busy, busy birds. Yeah. But without food? I mean... They're hungry, busy birds. No offense, I get really grumpy, so without food, I kind of... Yep, I'm not doing anything. You, ju you guys can just go away. So, uh, the silo bunker harbor thing is built. Um, okay. What else? Well, now we're going to... Hmm. Speed up time? Yeah, but I'm not sure if there's such a great use for that. I'm just a second here. Oh, uh, Field 65 needs to be cultivated and planted as well. I forgot about that. 
Um, yeah, and 31. Yeah, 31's got the cultivator there, but Fat has to use the forage harvester there first. Yeah. I'm just oh, back. Okay. Ooh, I didn't <laughs> so collect I, eggs. Oh well. So I uh, took that tractor and cultivator up there, and I shouldn't have. So if you, Car, okay. if you want to grab. I'm about to start foraging, so. I'm on it. Well, if you're gonna start foraging, I can drive behind you. Yar. Sure. Yep, we get 31 taken care of. Uh, in that the was meantime. Be my suggestion. Ah. Yes. So, Fat, a question with the Yar. Have you ever played Sid Meier's Pirates? No. That is definitely. It's an older game, but it's a game that would uh, fit you well with your language. Really? Yep. I, are you saying I have the language of a sailor? A little bit. <laughs> that was no. one game that I played. I oh jeez, I spent many hours playing that game as well. Yes. I played an on uh, an online one called Pirates of the Burning Sea for quite a while. I think by the end I had somewhere between fifteen and twenty accounts. I was crafting oh, wow. ships right from the right from the start, right from the wood and growing the hemp to make into rope and getting the fur, the tar for the, from the fur and all sorts of stuff. It was really complicated, but uh, you know, I harvested every resource there was. And that's after it turned free to play and you could use... Uh, anyway. I still had a bunch of accounts that I'd already paid for, so that worked out well. We like free to play. Uh, most free-to-play games I pay at least once anyway, so I feel good about it. Yeah. Rift I haven't paid for yet, but I'm going to probably tonight. Ah, oh, sounds good. I haven't bought anything for Star Trek Online yet, but there's every possibility that I will do when I can actually make the time to play the game a little bit more. Well, when you do make the time to play the game, I can play it with you if you uh, want to record some. Yeah, I'd love that. I've, I've paid for it on a couple of accounts. Yeah, so I, no, I, was, I was actually looking at, obviously with all the um, content ID and stuff, they actually are fine for YouTube, so... Oh, that's good. Yeah, we could start right from the beginning, maybe, uh, and uh, go through the storyline or something. Yeah. I We'd invite Kara, but, you know... He doesn't know enough about Star Trek. <laughs> I'm kidding, you probably know more than I do. I'm not really... I've watched most of the TV shows, the early ones, and grew up on those, but I'm not a cow. I'm going to call myself a Trekkie. Uh, sorry, I, I... I I am. I'm very much... I think I, I proved that um, a little while ago. Someone started saying something and I just started going off in Trek speak and they can't... Okay then. <laughs> you, you're not a Trekkie unless you can speak Klingon. If you can't speak Klingon, um, you're not really a Trekkie. Well, I don't speak Klingon, but there's a couple of phrases that um, I've kind of memorized from different episodes. So they're probably not fit for this. Oh well, then again, on <laughs> Star Trek, they would be. No, I mean. Um, Shusho, uh, pop. Yes, cuck. Is apparently today is a good day to die, and I'm sure someone will help me with my pronunciation because I'm sure it probably wasn't great. But sounds like something Christopher Lloyd would say. But um, when you actually listen, I I had the Star Trek Klingon game, and when you listen to the this, it had a CD in it, and it actually had the we're going to teach you how to speak Klingon in it. And one of the first things they're telling you is basically how to insult people because you're not a Klingon if you don't know how to insult people and fight them for your honor. So, culturally, a very interesting idea. Although, quite why we're talking about Klingons and their culture whilst we're scooping up straw is. <laughs> is interesting, quite yeah. frankly. It goes to show what um, what level of derps we have um, working the farm. So, a 
And by derps, I mean me. Ha 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 ha. And me. Kara, I think I just discovered something here. When you leave the bucket so it's dumping into the um, the bin, we only make money if someone's sitting in the, the loader. Otherwise, yeah, it know. dumps out and we don't get the money for it. Oh, it does dump out, but it... It looks like it, yeah. Okay, then I shall not do that again. I'm just learning it for myself now, so... Or maybe I'm wrong. Uh, it's possible, I suppose. So this straw we're putting in this straw pile thing. Aren't we? Uh, yes. Where's this? Oh, the straw pile thing, okay. Suppose I should come up there with a tractor so our viewers get to see what we're up to. Well, either that or they can just boycott your channel and watch ours. <laughs> well, that was nice. Ah, uh, you know we love you really. Ah, oh, there's straw. I'm, I'm driving through all the silos and then I kind of look over here and there's a massive great big sign saying straw. No, I would never advocate anyone to boycott your channel. I would love to see your channel grow and more people subscribe, so everyone go subscribe to Hitman. Please, please, please. Well, don't forget Kara. And Kara. Everyone's already done Kara. I'm sure they have. Uh, I'm looking to my subscribers and Hitmans. Uh, I guess not. Oh well. But that's okay. Guys, even if you don't necessarily want to watch all three videos, please... Please do show your support if you would like to. If you don't, then... Okay. Then we're gonna cry. No. Well, I'm subscribed to you guys. Because I think you do good stuff. I try but to. But I enjoy doing it, so that's, that's okay. Yeah, that's, that's the key thing is, I mean, that's the... Kind of the bedrock principle that I try to stick to with, with the channel is... As long as I'm enjoying the games, I'm gonna carry on doing it. When I stop enjoying them, I'm going to stop doing it, so... Because it's not entertaining. Watching someone play a game that they don't enjoy... Well, just... that's, that's working a game, not playing a game. Yeah, so... And then you call the series Let's yep. Work. Yes. <laughs> so, um... Dear, so on, on that kind of note, there's... I know everyone's probably seen Farming Giants disappeared from the channel for a while. I will be getting back to it. Um, I really do enjoy that one. It just takes a lot of effort to actually gain the game open. <laughs> so. I, I noticed on Steam, if you buy Professional Farmer 2014, if you get the Collector's Edition, I think it's called, you also get Farming Giant. Okay, well that's, and, that's good. Uh, That'll give more people the ability to get the game. Unfortunately, I think a lot of them are going to struggle to actually get it to run, which is a, an incredible shame, because if it was just... It wouldn't take a lot. It would take a few little bug fixes and just that stability on, on normal platforms, on normal hardware. And that would be one hell of a game. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I love it. But, um... I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, unfortunately, nothing at the moment is going to be a patch on The Room 2 for me. So... I uh, I know I said about it last episode as well, but I the reason I raved over that review is not because I have any ulterior motives other than the fact that I genuinely love and appreciate that game. So I'd never have guessed that. I know I was very, really, very subtle about it, but um, yeah, you were. I'd I'd never even heard of the game until I watched your video yesterday. <laughs> Me too. But well, on, the, on the other hand, it's not my kind of game, so that's why I have probably haven't heard of it. And that's fine, I mean, the, the kind of puzzle games, and that, that particular genre they tend to call escape games, because you have to kind of do a certain series of steps to kind of get out of a room or something. Um, but in that particular genre, I've, I've looked at a number of other games on the iPad, and it's by far the absolute best. The, the atmospherics, the graphics, it, it, yeah, it's and it's so compelling in making you think, but without making you too frustrated that you can't get on with the game, if you understand what I mean. But anyway. Yeah. They made it then. difficult, but not too difficult. 
Well, they've, they've made it difficult, but there's also there's the option of a hint. So once you've flailed around for a little bit, a little question mark appears in the corner. And you can, you can actually press it and you can get a hint. Now, I've not done that on either version of the game because I want to figure it out. I want to know that when I've kind of looked around and I've kind of found the thing that I need to find to get onto the next bit, that I've actually found it without anyone guiding me to it. Though, so, hence that's why I, I do what I do. But, but yeah. So the the other um, iPad game, obviously, we're looking to get going is Transport Tycoon. Now, I figured with Transport Tycoon, I'm not just going to do a peek. I'm actually going to do a one month let's play on it. So, month of January, I'm scheduling Fridays to be Transport Tycoon days. Excellent. So, I've been promising it so for long enough. Hooked on MMOs, then I'd be all set to do a whole bunch of different videos. Car, did you <laughs> just flatten the grass all through here? Uh, maybe. <laughs> now oh, we yeah, didn't have grass there I anyway. I wanted to press V, but I pressed X, so my cultivator started folding up. And I was like, oh no, no, stop. Yes, well, that was one of the comments on... Well, it would have been two videos ago now, because um, I didn't mention it last episode, but someone had commented up about um, the cultivator kind of getting rid of the grass. And they weren't referring just to the little section that we'd intentionally left. Um, they were actually referring to the fact that I, on a couple of occasions, kind of derped and not actually, I know, derping me, hard to believe. Um, and I hadn't actually taken the cultivator up, so there's these nice great big swaths of grass and uneven edges around. But, hey ho. Hey hey, check this field then. <laughs> it's gonna yeah. fit in, right? Nice. Pretty much it. like this. Well done, Kara. You're making me feel like I'm uh, not so bad. Well. I try to work my way up to your standards. Yeah, it's 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 a it's a tough route, my friend. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. I tried to flip this tractor like two episodes now, but I'm not getting it any near way near your efforts. Yeah, you, well, you're in the wrong game for that. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so um... every time I look away, I miss a strip here. You know what the answer to that is then, don't you? <laughs> Do it all twice. So, Kara, I'm going to need you to go along the... Well, um, no, maybe not. I was going to say go along the edge here, but I'll just seed it. Seed it with the seeds of love. No, uh, actually, I'm going to use the seeds of wheat. Okay. Well, that works too. <laughs> Wheat's kind of like love. Went to external view, uh, that way I'll be able to show a little more what you guys are doing. I just had a little bit of a lag there. Did you finish the foraging? No, I have just thing? finished the foraging. Okay, so what's our next thing we need to do? Do we Maybe. need to put this overloader anywhere, or do we want to keep it up here? Uh, we're going to need it down at the uh, farm, the main farm, because okay. uh, we'll be doing tubers, I'm I think, next. I'm guessing we'll leave the forage, the forage wagon here and just take that down. Uh, yeah. Does the overloader accept uh, root crops? Uh, I believe so. One way to find out. Yeah, if it doesn't work, then we'll have it do something different. If it doesn't accept it, we'll reason with it until it does. How's that? We'll give it Sounds to you and make him mod, mod it for us. Okay. I'll just, uh... What a silly yeah. little horn. I know. That's kind of... I feel I, I feel self-conscious now. Okay. 
need to haul big equipment around to make up for the little horn. Well, I don't know about that. I'm not that innocent here. <laughs> but I am getting... I am getting a good amount of um, luggage spikages, so... Yeah, it's been okay for me so far. Knock on wood. That's one problem yeah. with recording on the weekends, is that's when most of the stuff happens. Like, that's when things get busy, so traffic across the big pond gets busier. Yeah. Still, we'll make do, we usually do. We are hardened professionals and all that jazz. Uh, the productivity of the chickens is now 111%. Wow, that was totally worth it. But they, it's, it's still night time for them. Yeah. I'm wondering what they'll do in daytime. Oh, this is a cedar's acting a little bit weird. I'm missing sh strips that I shouldn't be. Are you possibly getting a little bit of lagage as well? No, no, I don't think it's oh. that. It's just the detection on the, the front of the cedar, I think. Ah, okay. I don't know if it's called the detection, but you know what I'm saying. The thing you do don't, for then Google it. Just call it a thingy doofer, it'd be fine. Yeah, the no problem's the thingy doofer. So Except Kara's... In this case, it might be a quantum molecular thingy doofer. It could be. Kara, as soon as you're done this one, I'll need you to go down and hit field 60, uh, 65 next. Yep. And that one should be a good challenge for you. Because that field is up and down and all over the place. I'm guessing I probably need to hop on over to the biogas plant and um, look at things and stuff. Yep. yep. Um, just see if any more from the yellow uh, loader will tip into the thingy duper. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the work for 2013. That's the word of the week for me, anyway. Last week it was singing that Don't Worry Be Happy song. Yeah. Yeah, thanks again. Here's a little song I wrote. So, there was a question on uh, on that video, why uh, why we hated that song. And it's not a question of hate, it's a question of being done to death. <laughs> we were talking about it on Facebook, so the conversation went on a bit about it. So. Yeah, I don't, I don't dislike the song. It's not my favorite song, because it's not my genre of music, but... It was just, I've been hearing it the entire day, so I, yeah, <laughs> it was enough for me. So my apologies, I don't dislike the song. I remember when it came out, uh, when it was brand new, I was amazed that Robin Williams was on it, and I didn't even know who the other guy was at the time, nor can I think of his name right now. Oh my gosh, this is, I'm just doing a terrible job of this today. Anything else you need me to be doing at the moment? Because I've just checked the biogas. Run out of things to do. Yeah, I'm. I'm just. I'm. I'm playing hide and seek with myself around the farm at the moment. How's that going? Well, I keep finding myself, and which is unusual because usually I'm losing myself. Um, maybe you can fertilize the field that Hitman is seeding, or are you using a uh, seed? It's of fertilizing. Fertilizer? It's okay. fertilizing on its own. Um. Okay. Well, uh, I don't really, uh, we can't really buy anything right now because we need to save up that $500,000. Yar. So I'll, I'll just pop down to the biogas again and just keep an eye on stuff and things. It's nice green. It's nice, it's green, it's biogas. How are we doing for Actually time? Not gas. We are, we've got about five minutes left. Okay, um... Well, we could mow, I do a bit of mowing, I suppose, if, uh, with that mm, John Deere, you could mow some and then go back and grab it. Actually, I could seed with a John Deere. Yeah, and the John then Deere could... is down with the thingy-doofer. 
down with the thingy duper. Down, down with the overloader, down at the uh, main farm. Okay, we're gonna need that John Deere probably kept up here, so. You want me to go and shift it then? Um, yeah, um, come up with it, and I'll give you this seeder, and you can either finish seeding or we can swap tractors, and then use this tractor with the mower on it and the forager, and we'll collect some more grass for cows, because as soon as we get that uh, root or the, the root harvester, I think our next um, task will be getting cows. Since we've now yes. got straw and we've got hay and and silage. Yes, we're going to get that um, root crop harvester in disguise. It's a transformer. It's an yes, evil it's, one. It's, it's, a a no, it's a meanie. But there you go. Everyone remembers the meanies, though, don't they? Yeah, most likely. Speaking of remembering, do you remember Cabbage Patch Kids? Yes. Um, kinda. <laughs> oh, my sister had uh, one or more of them. Those things were expensive. It was crazy, that fed. Fad with an F, not PH. Yeah. But then again, most of those things, I mean, look at all the different things that people go through. I mean, at the moment, one of my friends at work was saying to me today that Minecraft's uh, merchandise is absolutely insanely expensive. Like, like a little uh, inch and a half tall figurine is like eight pounds or something like that, and it's just too much. Christmas time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's called <laughs> squeezing every last buck out of the game. Wow, that's just like the petroleum companies where I live. Every time there's a holiday coming up, the, they hike the, the price of fuel. And then they drop it again as soon as the holiday's over. If my plans come to fruition, then they're going to lose a lot of their business someday. We'll grow our own fuel. I even have a wiki for that. That's pretty good. So I'm back up. When you do, you want me to come to the other side of the field and swap over, or do you want to come back up and do the next pass, or? Uh, just head over here if you want. Okay, I just don't want to go on your your nice seeded bit. Get off my lawn. Yeah, I'll 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 go on Kara's nice dirty bit. <laughs> Now, did you want to swap tractors, or do you want to keep seeding, or what do you want to do there? I'll, I'll finish the seeding off if that's okay. Sure. Uh, where's that mower? Oh, you want to bet the mower's back at the other farm. The mower is back at... is No, the <laughs> mower's at the biogas. No way, really? Mm-hmm. I'm fairly <gasps> sure I saw it at the biogas, almost the at the entrance. Way. Yeah, I think you even left it here, Hitman. Yeah, it's down there. Yay, I was right for once! I accidentally reset it. You re you reset the you reset it down to the farm or to the biogas? To, to the farm, accidentally. Accidentally, okay. <laughs> yeah. So I'll go grab that and bring it back and we'll start. Um, that'll probably be we, for next We episode. don't have a rule against resetting, right? Nah, it feels kind of cheaty, but at the same time this map is so huge you. Like on Hagenstead, I never reset anything because it's so small compared to this. I think in terms of resetting, if we're buying new equipment and resetting it, it's like a delivery. That makes sense to me. But if we're constantly resetting every single time the existing equipment, then that seems a little bit cheaty. But if well, we do it by mistake, and I'm putting air quotes there, because <laughs> um, I'm perceiving air quotes, um, uh, that happens, you know what. Well, you can imagine what a great video it is for me to drive all the way back to the biogas. I've already driven up from there today to um, to sell that uh, loader. For me to drive all the way down there, pick up a mower, and come all the way back. So that would be like 10 minutes of this video is me driving between biogas and up here. Well, 
so I, I just cut three minutes, minutes for you to drive backwards and forwards. How long do we have? We have just finished. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we'll see everyone later, and and we'll have more exciting stuff coming up in our next episode. Yeah. Take care, <laughs> yep. folks. See you later, everybody. Well, bye.